Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded uh, trapezoid uh, C, D, E, G, fully confined uh, in a square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, tiny segment uh, E, D is uh, 5 units. Likewise, this segment uh, A, F is 5 units, uh, and this segment uh, B, G is 5 units uh, as well. And moreover, uh, this segment uh, FP is uh, perpendicular to this uh, line uh, EG at this point uh, P. And the length uh, FP is uh, 25 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, segment uh, FP. And in this uh, next step, I have extended uh, this line uh, all the way to this point uh, H. Then by symmetry, this uh, segment uh, CH is going to be 5 units uh, as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, diagonal uh, FH uh, and this diagonal uh, EG are uh, perpendicular to each other. That means it's a 90 degree angle. So therefore we conclude that this segment uh, FP is going to be equal to this segment uh, PH uh, and likewise uh, this segment uh, EP is going to be equal to this segment uh, PG. So therefore, if uh, this segment uh, EP is uh, C, lowercase c, then this uh, PG length uh, is going to be lowercase c as well. And now let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, length uh, CG as uh, A units. Then by symmetry, this uh, segment uh, a E is going to be lowercase a and this segment uh, B F is going to be lowercase a as well. So therefore this whole uh, length uh, A B is going to be A plus uh, 5. So therefore uh, this side length uh, of the square is going to be A plus 5 uh, as well. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, lowercase a before we could calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, region. And here in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, this point uh, F uh, with this point uh, E and uh, G. And as a result, we got this line uh, EF uh, and this line uh, FG. And moreover, these angles are uh, 90 degrees each. And as a result, we get these uh, two right triangles, this uh, right triangle uh, EAF and the other right triangle uh, FBG, this uh, right triangle. And moreover, uh, this side length uh, of this right triangle uh, is equal to this uh, side length. And this uh, tiny length uh, AF equals to this length uh, BG. So therefore we conclude that these two right triangle, uh, this right triangle uh, EAF uh, and this other right triangle uh, FBG are uh, congruent uh, triangles according to side uh, angle uh, side uh, congruency theorem. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees. Now let's assume that this angle uh, is uh, alpha since this is a 90 degree angle so therefore this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta and likewise this angle going to be our angle uh, alpha and this is our 90 degree angle so therefore this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, alpha plus beta equals to 90 degrees. So therefore we conclude that this uh, angle uh, EFG is going to be 90 degrees. And since uh, these two triangles are uh, congruent, so therefore uh, this side length uh, 
EF is going to be equal to the side length FG. Let me label this side as lowercase b. Then this side is going to be lowercase b as well. And now let's focus on this right triangle EFG. And this is an isosceles triangle as well since this side is equal to this side. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole EG length is going to be C plus C is going to give us 2 times C. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. And here our hypotenuse is uh, 2 times c. And our two other side lengths are b and uh, b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, b square plus uh, b square equal to 2c whole uh, square. Let's simplify that is going to give us uh, 2b square equal to 4 times uh, c square. And now we are going to divide both sides uh, by 4 to isolate c square. So therefore our c square value turns out to be b square divided by 2. Let me label this uh, as our equation uh, number 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus now on this uh, right triangle uh, EFP. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle as well. And here in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, lowercase uh, b. And other two side lengths are 25 uh, and c. So therefore, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. In our case, uh, we got uh, 25 square plus uh, c square equals to b square and now I am going to move this uh, c square on the other side. So therefore we are ended up with uh, b square minus c square equal to 625. And now let's make an observation. We know our c square value from this equation 1 is uh, b square divided by 2. So therefore I am going to substitute uh, b squared divided by 2 over here. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, c squared by b squared divided by 2. And now let's make an observation b squared minus b squared divided by 2 is same as uh, b squared divided by 2. So therefore I can write uh, b squared divided by 2 equals to 625. Let me multiply both sides by 2 to isolate b square and here we can see 2 and 2 cancels out so therefore b square value turns out to be 1250. Let me call this our equation number 2 and here's our next step let's focus on this right triangle EAF and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well. And in this uh, triangle, this uh, is uh, our hypotenuse. Other two side lengths are a and uh, 5. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, a square plus uh, 5 square equal to b square. And now let's make an observation. We know our b square value is 1250. So therefore, I'm going to replace uh, b square by 1250 over here. As you can see in this uh, next step I have substituted this uh, b square as uh, this uh, 1250. And now we are going to subtract uh, 25 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore a square equals to 1225. Let me undo this uh, square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, our a value turns out to be 35 uh, units. So therefore our a value turns out to be 35 units. And we know the side length uh, of this uh, square is uh, a plus 5 and a equals to 35. So therefore this side length is going to be 40 units. So thus we conclude that the side length of the square a, b, c, d turns out to be 40 units. And now we are going to calculate the area of the square uh, ABCD. And now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to S square where S represent uh, the side length of the square. And in our case uh, the side length is 40. 
So therefore, the area of this square ABCD is going to be 40 whole square. And if we simplify, that is going to give us 16 square units. And here's our final step. Let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, yellow shaded area is going to be equal to a half uh, of this uh, square ABCD area. In other words, uh, this uh, yellow shaded area is going to be equal to this uh, white uh, area because of the symmetry. And we know the area of this square ABCD is uh, 16. Uh, so I'm going to substitute it uh, over here. So therefore our yellow shaded area turns out to be 1 divided by 2 times uh, 1600. And if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 800. And now let me show you the alternative method to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, trapezoid by using uh, this uh, area of a trapezoid uh, formula. And here in our case, uh, our height uh, H uh, is uh, 40. I'm going to replace it over here. Our uh, A side is uh, 5. And then our this other side B is uh, 35. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have substituted all those values. And if we simplify the right hand side, the area of this uh, yellow shaded region turns out to be 800 uh, square units as well. So therefore, the area of this uh, yellow shaded region turns out to be 800 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.